Hi, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to look up items in a row that are separated by line feeds. So what does that mean? Say for example, we get data like this. We have a, a row here, we have four rows here, and within those rows are values. And in these values, we want to perform a lookup. These are standard industry codes, SIC codes. And we want to get the title out of it. And this is our lookup table, and these are lookup items. Now, when we try to look up the values in here, it's only going to look up for the first one, not going to look up for the second, third, or fourth one. And in this case, it's only going to look up the first one out of these seven. So it becomes a little difficult. We need to separate them out into its own separate row to do that. And eventually, we want something like this, where we have our separate rows with the looked up value, the, the SIC code and the title. So how do we do something like this? I'll show you two examples of how we can do this. One with the text to columns feature and one using Power Query. So here we have our table, our unique table with our SIC codes and our titles. And this is the data that we somehow gotten and we need to look up this value. So to do this, the first example with the text to columns feature, all I need to do is select that column and go under data and use the text to columns feature. The breaks here are line feed breaks. Now you notice that they're, de they're delimited by line breaks, but if I click on next, there is no field for line breaks. And it's gonna, we're gonna use the other selection and the line break field is actually control the letter J. If I put that in there, now you're gonna notice that in my data preview, it has found out the line breaks and it's gonna separate them out by column. So if I click on next, yeah, it's gonna ask, well, what kind of data format do we want? We'll just select general. You can see general is applied here. And when I click finish, we have our data that's separated out. Now in this way, this becomes a little bit more manual. If you have a short, a short set of data, what we can do is we can just copy and then paste it as uh, transpose. And we can just kind of do this kind of easily, uh, transpose the data. And we can do the same thing here. Uh, just use control C and then paste the data here, transpose the data. And we have our row, our rows of data, control C and paste, transpose. And we have our rows of data where we can do our lookup now, right? If I do the last one here, control C and then transpose the data here. And we can just use the uh, lookup function to perform the lookups here. I'm gonna delete the rest of, I'm gonna call this the SIC and this will be the title, right? Title, and let's just get rid of the rest here. Select the, the columns there, right click, and delete. And here, we just use the lookup. We use the VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP, press tab. I'm gonna look up this value, and my table is gonna be over here. I just select this whole thing here, A and B, and comma, and I want the second, I wanna bring back the second column and I want to have an exact match, right? Close parentheses, press enter. You now you notice it's found the title there. Click on the fill handle down here to bring the formula down, double click. And let's double click the to auto fit. And now we have our titles here. So the other way we can do it is with the Power Query feature. And let's see how we can do that. The Power Query feature is available in Excel 2016, but if you have Excel 2013 or 2010, you're gonna to have to download it from Microsoft and enable it. It's under the Data tab, and it's under the Get and Transform group. Now what we need to do is we need to take our query from there, and I'm gonna go and select data from table. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna take this range of data and turn it into a table. So I have to do that for my data tab, I'll just say from table, and my table has headers, the first row does have headers, click OK. And this will be, I'll just name this the the um, data, since I'll copy the, 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 the I'll copy the um, naming of the tabs here. Let's press enter, and all I need to do now is select this column, and I'm gonna split the column and I'm split by delimiter. It's very similar to the text to columns feature, but this gives us some added features. Uh, instead of like doing the transpose here, this can actually let me do it all in one step. So Power Query was smart enough to know 
that the delimiter was the line feed. And so this, this is the character representation of line feed. And I'm going to split it at each occurrence. And there's this advanced options. Usually it's not um, drilled down, but I can drill down on it. And instead of splitting it into separate columns, like what we did with text to features, text to columns feature in Excel, we can split it into rows. If I click on that, it's going to do that all automatically. I don't have to transpose anything. Click OK, and that has it spread out like that. Now, I'm going to close and load this to a connection. What I can do here is I can just create it and load it to a table, and I can do my VLOOKUP now. I, there's another way to do a lookup using Power Query itself, but but if we want to just to use our uh, VLOOKUP here, we can just do the same thing here. So I have title, whoops, title, and I'm going to do VLOOKUP, press tab, this value, comma, and select my sheet or my uh, range of data there, comma, it's going to be the second column that I went back, and also I want the exact match. Close parentheses, press enter, and now since this is a table, it automatically filled the formulas down below because uh, the tables are kind of nice to do that. Double click to auto fit, and now we have our looked up data in all its separate rows, right? So that's how we can look up data that is basically brought in in separate cells but they're separated by line feeds and how we can separate them out and get a looked up value from there. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.